Christian from Keeper Stop. I want to do a session today on breakaways, right? And there's so many different types of breakaway saves before, during, and after. Um, but I wanted to focus on some fitness you could do with breakaways, uh, some diving techniques that you can do with breakaways, just as far as warm ups go. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can do it. This is just one of many sessions that we do here. So, hope you enjoy it. The first grid that we have here is literally just a channel and they're knocking the ball one touch back and forth. But what they're going to do is once they pass the ball, they're going to get into a ready position. And at any given time, whoever is distributing the ball, they can knock it to the side by 50%. So 100% knock it back and forth, lay the ball off. So they have to attack it low and hard. And what's important about that is that uh, they get down as quickly as possible. You're going to see some goalkeepers are going to shuffle and skip and then they go. But the important thing is, is that you go from this ready position down low as quickly as possible. So this is a distribution and diving warm up for breakaway saves. Enjoy. Nice and tight, one, one touch, two touch if you must. And at some point in time, so if you pass me the ball, also if, I, if I give you a layoff to the side, you have to come low and hard to get it. Okay, so just get there as quickly as possible. And it is a warm up, all right? So the first couple you take a little bit of slower and then you build from there. So as soon as you recognize that separation off of his feet, bad touch, what have you, you're out through that ball. Remember to twist your hands as you go through. Here we go, Let's see what it looks like. It's inside here, yeah, and whenever you want, you just knock it off to the side and he attacks the ball just, again, to the side, yep. And that's it. Trying to eliminate any stutter steps, any preparation steps. You know, he doesn't have to take a step and then dive to the ground. Love that. That was a great example. Um, he didn't have an extra step to get this leg inside and he just dropped it, tucked this leg inside and go, here we go again. This could be, uh, you know, fitness and distribution. But again, every session I like to do a little bit of distribution. And part of breakaways is coming out of your box. Part of your breakaway session could be, do you come out low and hard for the ball or based on placement of the ball, it's out of the box. And what do you do with it, okay? So we're gonna work on a little bit of a through ball with distribution to nets off to the side. We gotta be flexible. Grass field during the summertime, we found a nice patch that we're not gonna destroy. So, I mean, that's about a 40, about a 35 yard ball right there. So. Goalkeeper's gonna play the ball into space. Working goalkeeper sprints out. I'd love, you know, a one touch instep in if possible. Also practice two touches, touch, play it, and just play it under control. So something more urgent, something a little bit more finesse, and then he's gonna get back and he's gonna receive a volley from another goalkeeper. So it's a fitness exercise, two to one rest to work ratio. He could do that a couple times if he wants, but right now we're working on getting out, getting back, and then being under control. Ready? Emily, so as soon as he comes out, you're at the pink cone. And you could serve that ball from the ground too. Okay, so just ready, here we go. So you play a ball, Vinny come out a little bit more, ask for the ball. Yep, go. And you, yep. Yeah. So come out, come out, come out. You can take your touch. You play it, drop it back quickly. Next goalkeeper, go. Next one. Now get out quick, sprint. Dropping back, dropping back, dropping back, dropping back. Try to play. Emily, try to play the goalkeeper, okay? At their feet, at their hands. Let's go. Here we go. Come a little higher. He's out. He's out. Yeah. Almost. All right.
So this is why we're doing this. Out of five each goalkeeper, only one went to a target. So it's important to learn how to accelerate, get out there, you know, control your body so you can distribute the ball with whatever surface you want in step or laces, and then hit an outside midfielder or uh, a forward that's checking back to the ball. So it's important to work on this because of just this situation here. You know, the handling was just a warm up handling, but that's what we're focusing on and we'll progress to maybe it's a decision to dive instead. Drop it back quickly, quickly, get back, 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 back. Good. So we'll start off with the pink. And sprint, Vinny, just play it, play it, go. Play it out. There you go. Get out there. Wherever you want, at their feet or at their hands. But get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, hello. <laughs> so get at the pink so that you have, you can strike the ball. So Parker, you have to move. So get over by the pink cone now. Go. 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 Drop back quickly. Back. 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 If you guys could get back into the middle of the goal. Quickly dropping back, get there, get back, back, get into the middle, 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 middle. Whatever you need to do to control your body and the ball. So it seems easier than it is, huh? But right now you haven't hit it. None of you, none of you guys. Okay? If you can receive it with the hands, do it. Ready? Sometimes it doesn't look pretty when you dive, you know, your timing was off a little bit, you land on the ball, but the important thing is, is you're working on the timing, the courage, that bravery needed. Here we go. Good. Switch, switch, switch with her. Good. Obviously, I'm giving it a little bit to the goalkeeper's favor, but start to put them where it's a 60-40 ball. So they have to make decisions and they recognize, oh, I'm putting myself um, a little bit in a compromising situation. Ready? Here we go. Parker, I need you to sprint. You're a, you're a striker. You're a striker. There you go. So as you can see, a lot of the balls are all over the place. They peppered them all over. The point is, put them in positions. They have to make decisions. Uh, decisions that come, to, uh, come out, using your hands, using your feet, um, what surfaces that they use. You know, you saw some goalkeepers that practice side volleys, you had others that just use instep. As you saw, you had others that just like using the right foot only. So you could specify left foot only instep. Uh, left foot lace is one time and you build it as a goalkeeper builds comfort level. This is a fairly advanced group actually. Um, and you saw how many balls, there's one that went in out of 10. So while this seems like it should be an easy exercise, um, when you throw something in like a one touch pass over 30 or 40 yards it becomes a little bit more problematic. So definitely something you should incorporate. I did this in a breakaway section because the next thing you know, um, they're going to be diving uh, here. And again, there could be breakaways in there. It could be uh, that through ball is more into the box and every once in a while it's uh, playing the ball out with their feet. So whatever you guys want to do, but as you can see, it's a development opportunity for a 16 year old, 17 year old group of goalkeepers. Now this segment, we're going to move towards 1v1s, more of an after kind of save. Okay, strikers are going to take a couple touches, 
Goalkeeper has to figure out how far down the line that they're going to move. Do they come screaming out because if it's a touch, right? Or do they have to stay a little bit more under control? Coming out and reducing the angle is great, but it does present some challenges, such as less time to react, you can get caught moving, so you got to figure out what works for you. And goalkeepers, everything is in play here. You get your feet involved, you get your hands involved, you get everything involved. We've discussed this in the past, shots around four to five yards, maybe it's a foot save, right? Something further than that out, six, eight yards, make sure you get your hands involved as well. It is always best to catch if we can. So literally, this is what it looks like. And you guys just alternate. Get another goalkeeper over there. So it could be just touch, touch, and touch. That's a good save. I threw a cheeky toe ball in there. Switch goalkeepers. Goalkeeper can see what angle they're attacking. Oh. Almost, almost. She kind of wasn't sure if she's leading with her feet or her hands there. I'd love to see with each and every touch go, it's inside here, it's inside here. Okay, stop. Goalkeepers sometimes get their hands caught back. I want the hands in front. And as they move, it's inside here. Your chest is loaded, your hands are in front, creating that hand-eye coordination. So if you do have to take that quick save, you're dropping your feet out from underneath you, it's that. Or it's this, okay? So it's quick. Recognize losses of control. Good, next. Nice and easy. I love how she did not come out. She stayed very close to her ready position. Another great save because there wasn't a loss of control. She was under control the entire time. Good. Yes, well done. Good. Good save, Em. Okay, the last progression, we can build from this, okay? We have 3v1 plus coach, you can modify however you want. A defender, three attacking players, but what I'm gonna do, goalkeeper that's demonstrating, is I'm gonna send one striker and one goalkeeper in. So at any given time, just for the demonstration, I'll send the ball in. So you wanna find this proper, uh, position from where we are now. So maybe somewhere around the six, that's up to you. That's up to you. So something you play with, right? You work on with your coach, your familiarity and comfort with your back four. Higher is better, but while not compromising over top of yours. And we play that through ball in. So a defender is always going to be trailing. So what are you looking at here? Communication, right? Keeper or away. Um, you know, I got front post get back post, turn them outside. So an element of communication from the goalkeeper to not only win the ball, but to help direct the defender. Defender's in the penny holding it. Striker just goes to goal and we finish. Okay. We are goalkeepers that should be field players, but let's pretend to be field players. Okay. So we're gonna be the best as possible. Tight area, can you go over there a little bit? It's a little bit narrow, which is fine. Okay, so we just try to keep that ball away from our defender. Ball's in, play here. Ball's in. Good. That's it. Am I like, I'm like trying to get this ball hard? Uh, you're, uh, a little bit. Good save. Just one, one, one attacker. Yeah, one attacker who's ever closest. One attacker is whoever's closest, and one defender. Goalkeepers that are here, we should try to move the ball. It's not one touch. You do whatever you want, play the ball in. Oh, jeez. Good. You can play, you can distribute the ball if you want it. It's up to you. Hey. Here we go. Now we got it. Here we go. So again, 3v1. Attackers, defender. You can play through. We got him. Hey, goalkeepers. We'll step back for a second. We should be able to keep the ball under possession from him here. Okay? We have a 10 by 15 space. Okay? Here we go. 
We're moving around, moving that ball, always. Good. Good, you get up, find a target. That's okay, we're trying this. This is when we want him to try it. You're concerned with the speed and location of the ball, speed and location of the attacker, speed and location of the defender, okay? And then also the second attacker, okay? Because if you come screaming too much out for a 1v1 when the defender's over there, you leave the back post open. So let's play with this a little bit, okay? Here we go. Same thing. We all can play the ball in at any given time. Play it out, play it out, play it out, play it out, find somebody. Almost, I like it, here we go. You're all waiting over there, come over here. Play it, play it, play it. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's 18. It wasn't the cone that messed him up. I still got my own feet. Two, yeah. Offsides. He got one defender. You got to make it. Hey, yeah, that yeah. helps you. We're trying to make it a little bit realistic that he has to stay on sides. Yeah. Here we go. Good, good patience. Stress, uh, stress and pressure is on the striker now. Couple more. Talk, talk, finish it, finish it. Okay, obviously we did a breakaway session today. Okay, we did shot stopping. We did distribution on through balls as well as uh, through balls in the before save. And then we got into uh, uh, a game situation. The whole point of the session was to have the, the play generate somewhere around here, right? And then we did the 1v1s within the ropes just so it illustrates like that save at the end. A ball at the angle, how far do you come off? Um, do you stay close to your line? How far do you travel down that line? Uh, concentrating on hand positioning, concentrating on your feet, concentrating on, you know, what? Obviously, the biggest part of that is decision making, right? I mean, in a breakaway situation like that, when we went to 1v1s or 2v1s, you guys tell me, what, what are some of the considerations you are thinking about? How far you should come off your line? Yeah. When to get to that? I think the talking is the one that's underrated, that it's hard to capture in this type of uh, session because obviously it's goalkeepers and we had fun. I mean, what is, what is one thing that you like to focus on in this kind of situation for you personally? Uh, the angles. The yeah, I mean, so many of us, right, is we come screaming out, we're like, I got you. And then we like, we cover up or we fall back. So I think that is why that rope is exceptionally important is that can you illustrate where your head and hands are going? Can you illustrate how much space do you actually have to cover? And those angles with those ropes are exceptional for that. So thanks for participating. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything goalkeeper related, this was a group of you know, 16 to 19 year old goalkeepers ranging uh, in ability level, obviously, and you know, male and female goalkeepers are like, we, everybody's the same once you're in goal and you know, you didn't see the guys taking anything uh, off for uh, the female goalkeeper and the female goalkeeper's working just as hard. 
And again, what's important about this is, is like we're goalkeepers and we're doing this for the benefit of each other. So, you know, we had the older goalkeeper bringing up the, you know, the level and you had the, the female goalkeeper competing. And I would say probably was one of the better goalkeepers of the group. So with that, my whole point of saying this is, is like you want to try, you want to make mistakes, you want to succeed in this environment where you all have a chance to learn. I mean, you all did exceptional and we learned together. I did as well. You made mistakes together and you watched what they did and you fixed them in your head. And then you also had successes. And I had just as much fun as you guys doing this. I mean, I'm laughing and having fun too. So thank you again. Any questions, contact KeeperStop.com. My name is Christian. Thanks.